hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's not really different but it's kind of different so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this hair as well as how I plucked it customized it and bleached it just to show you guys pretty much a protective style that I like to go to whenever I have my hair in a cornrow in a cornrows in cornrows so pretty much I am still doing the two-month challenge where I keep my hair in cornrows so I had to get really 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 creative when it comes to different styles that I can wear. So, DY Hair 777 was gracious enough to send me this unit to just kind of show you guys how I customize it and just to also give me another alternative to wearing my hair instead of wearing cornrows all the time. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. You guys, this hair is amazing. As you guys will see in the video, you'll go ahead and see how I bleached the knots, customized it, and did all of that stuff. So um, first, let me go ahead and just Actually, before we get too far into the video, if this is your first time finding my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe if you have not already, and like the video if you found it helpful. Let's go ahead and talk about this hair just a little bit before we hop into showing you guys how I customized it. So pretty much this is a 20 inch deep wave wig. And you guys, this hair is so cute. The hairline looks really natural. I do plan on doing a bunch of different styles with this hair just to show you guys how versatile this hair really is. Typically, sometimes when you get lace wigs or frontal wigs, the lace is a little bit too thick. But with this unit, the lace is amazing. I don't usually do baby hairs, but since this is kind of like a curly texture, I figured why not add a few baby hairs. I didn't do much. I just did two swoops here, two swoops here. So that's four four swoops in total that's all and you guys I, I almost cut my finger off so that's why I have this band-aid I think I'm being a little dramatic but it is a pretty deep cut but you know what that's neither here nor there anyway I just wanted to talk to you guys about this hair a little bit more before I went ahead and showed you guys how I got this finished product the link to this hair will be down below I am in love with it I feel like I'm gonna be able to keep this hair for a good amount of time because the quality of the hair is amazing and I just can't wait to do different styles with it like you know a little side little side swoop or whatever but oh shoot I'm messing it up okay let me stop let me stop okay so I know you guys don't want to see me sitting here for 10 minutes playing in my hair so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hop into the video so y'all can see exactly how I got this style with the wig that was sent to me all right so let's go ahead and hop into this video and get into this look all right, so this is the hair that was sent to me. This hair is from DY Hair 777. This is their 20 inch deep wave, or yeah, deep wave hair. This is what it looks like straight out the packet. Um, not washed or anything, so you can tell the curls are very cute and spirally. So yeah, um, what I'm gonna show you guys now is just kinda how I pluck it. And a technique that I like to use is parting it in small sections and you're also looking for a pattern. So as you guys can see where I'm plucking, there's an area that I plucked, an area that I didn't pluck, and another area that I did pluck. And I pretty much do that for about maybe four to five parts back, if that makes any sense. So what I'm pretty much saying is I'll thin it out, but I'm looking for a pattern whenever I do pluck the hair. So it's like hair, no hair, hair, no hair. That's the pattern you're looking for. And I just pluck until I'm pretty much satisfied with how it looks. Or the density of that one part and then I'll part it and then I'll pluck the next line the same exact way and I do very thin parts because you don't want to you want it to look really natural and you don't want to um, have them have the parts too spaced out because then you won't really be able to see the pattern and honestly when you see a hairline you can tell that the hair kind of clumps together when you like brush it back or just anywhere around a hairline it doesn't it's not just like full hair from ear to ear so that's the pattern that I like to look for whenever I do pluck my hair so that's pretty much all I'm doing now is just going over and thinning it out and then I'll go in and do that pattern where it's like hair no hair hair no hair and um, I noticed that I like to kind of do the top part a little bit thinner than the sides so I do the front just a little bit thinner than I do the sides although I do try to make it all as thin as possible I do the front a little bit thinner so here what I'm doing is once I kind of comb the hair out what I like to do 
before I bleach it is spray it down with some hairspray and what this pretty much does is this just kind of holds the hairs in place so when I do flip the lace inside out the hairs are kind of stuck in place they're not moving around because usually when they're moving around I always find myself bleaching some of the hairs on accident so I spray that on it and then I brush it back or um, kind of comb it back just so it can stay in place and the bleach that I'm using is a what is it what is it BW it's like L'Oreal BW bleach with a 30 volume developer I only use 30 one time <sighs> I was trying to experiment and I used a 50 volume developer and let's just say I will never do that again so I learned from my mistake because the hair was literally coming out of that frontal but I definitely learned from my mistake so here I only use 30 volume developer that's what I'm using here in this video and also when you're painting on the developer or the bleach you want to be very 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 light-handed you want to make sure that you're not brushing it on too hard because you don't want the bleach to seep through the lace because once the bleach starts to expand it's already gonna foam up and kind of seep through so you don't want to help it at all you want to brush it on as gently as possible making sure that you're kind of barely touching the lace but you just want to make sure that you coat it nicely everywhere because if your bleach isn't thick enough it will seep through even faster and we don't want those problems so yeah i'm just going ahead and covering all of the lace and i let it sit for about 30 minutes and then i check on it sometimes i will let me say this i check on it at the 20 minute mark and i just want to see what the hair is looking like and then i go ahead and I'll let it sit for another 10 minutes but you definitely want to make sure you're checking on it and um yeah just make sure you're checking it and seeing if it's turning i noticed that the front the very very front of the lace always seems to turn a little bit faster than the back part so it depends on how you want to brush it on but i just brush it on the front to front front to back but yeah it seems like the front sometimes turns a little bit quicker so what i'm doing now is a step that i find to be very very crucial in making this look as natural as possible so what i'm doing here is just taking this slick stick and I'm taking it and I'm applying it only to the edges of the wig, okay? You're going to see why I'm applying it only to the edges. I'm taking this hot comb and then I'm just um, kind of hot combing out the edges. And that just gives it so much more of a natural look. Like you can kind of see the hairs in the front a little bit more defined or you can see them a little better and it just makes it look really natural so i only do that to the front of the hair to the hairline just to make it pop and make it stand out that way you can see the pattern a little bit more and you can just it just looks more it looks more sleek honestly and i feel like when your hair is down or straight or whatever it kind of goes back like your hairline goes back when you do a hairstyle so to me this makes it look way more natural and it just makes it um makes you're able to see like the plucking a little bit more when you just kind of press out those um roots so that is what i did this is a close-up y'all can see the pattern look closely y'all can see that pattern where it's like hair no hair hair no hair that is what you're going for that will give it a very natural look so what i'm doing now is just going to quickly do the other side it looks so natural so pretty this slick stick is my favorite because it just holds for a long period of time and you know that's what we're going for we want it to hold and stay in place but that is pretty much it for this part one so for the part two of this video definitely stay tuned part two will be showing you guys how I applied the wig how I glued it down how I did my baby hairs what glue I used, how I did my stocking cap method it pretty much goes over all of that in part two but in part one I just wanted to give you guys a very detailed look on how I customized the wig so if you found this video helpful thank you guys so much for finding this video helpful like comment subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys next time in my next video
Hey guys, so I'm trying something new out with my content. So if you made it to the end of this video, you are definitely a trooper. And I thank you guys so much, so, so much for your comments and your support. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time in my next video.